Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It's gonna be a new one in my regret series and this week I'm gonna be talking about makeup that I don't regret buying. Oh yeah, we got some good ones in here. We got some good ones in here. If you missed the kickoff to my regret series that was talking about makeup that I regret not buying. I explained the concept behind this series that I have been doing for a few years now so I will link the entire playlist down below if you want to go back and check out any of the old videos but basically I am looking back at my previous will I buy it videos. That is the series that I post every single Wednesday chatting over new makeup releases so I am starting to look back from about last uh, last fall time going into the holiday releases of 2019 that's kind of the area that we're moving into and I'm just looking back at all of the products that I talked about and then I'm picking a few to say if I regret buying them I regret not buying them I don't regret buying them and so forth so again that playlist will be linked down below but if you want to hear about some of the products that I don't regret buying that have worked out well for me I'm gonna go ahead and get started I want to say that I will have a video on this look coming up also so stay tuned for that that is coming soon but to jump into it okay I wanted to talk about a product that I actually bought pretty recently so I touched on this again several months ago in a will I buy it video and then I waited to buy it and I waited to buy it I hauled it fairly recently but I have been wearing it so much I'm wearing it today and I'm so happy with this one I definitely do not regret buying it and that is from dose of colors and it is the meet your hue concealer so this guy was $24 but dose of colors was having a sale a couple months ago where it was I think it was 50% off their um, foundation concealer the sponges I purchased the concealer and then also three of the sponges I love the dose of colors seamless sponge and then I wanted to pick up another one and then two more sponges but really the concealer I am so impressed with I got the shade 11 which is light medium again I have it on my under eyes today I know a lot of people really love this concealer I've seen my friend Jamie from glam latte just recommend it so much and when I saw that they were having a sale on the website I was like I'm gonna go ahead and do it and I do not regret it this is such a nice concealer I highly recommend it it is also available at Ulta Beauty so you have your uh, larger doe foot here I think the shade 11 works really well for me it's not too light I can even wear it to like spot correct if I need to around my face I really like the coverage on it but it's not too heavy it's not too drying it doesn't look too cakey it's easy to blend out but it still gives me a nice amount of coverage it does like it does help brighten my under eyes a little even though like I said it's not too light but it still has that brightening effect and just kind of lifts my face and yeah not a lot of creasing with this one I'm really impressed with it I keep reaching for it and I keep reaching for it especially at 50% off I am so not mad that I bought this concealer so I have a handful of eyeshadow palettes that no regrets about happy I have them in my collection really enjoy them would highly recommend them one is from Pat McGrath labs this is the eye ecstasy sublime eyeshadow palette so this one was $28 now obviously the packaging on this this is not like the really fancy Pat McGrath palettes that you see um, you know the ones that are over a hundred dollars okay I paid 28 for this and I'm like that's fine it's I'm I'm good with that and I really like this because it gave me a way to try out out some of these shadows without spending a larger price tag on the more expensive pat palettes if you guys don't know I really enjoy minis I like smaller eyeshadow palettes and especially for a, a lesser price tag I was all about it I really really like this eyeshadow palette now I usually do like when I can have some mattes sprinkled into it and all of these are shimmers but they like some of these shades in here are just freaking cool and it really showed me like how special these matte shades are from pat mcgrath that is what like you saw like i'm not gonna cut that that was one swipe like these are wild like these are just really nice shades for if i want to um like if i just want to go in and top off an eye look with like a blind look at that first shade just like a blinding shimmer i'm like yeah okay i've done some halo eyes with this i really do like the shades in here i think the quality is so nice on them i definitely don't regret buying this for affordable eyeshadow palette that i don't regret buying is from ColourPop. so when i bought it it was the smoke show palette it has now been renamed to the blowing smoke but it is available now on the ColourPop website and this palette is just cool i featured this in my eyeshadow palette tag which if you guys liked that a lot of people did that tag video 
video that Ali Glines and I did. I did start a playlist and there's I think there's over 300 videos on there. If I missed you, if your video's not on there, just let me know. I'm so happy to add it, but I just Googled or I just searched the eyeshadow palette tag and then added everyone's video that popped up. So uh, if you want to see a bunch of those, it has been so much fun seeing how much people enjoyed that that tag video but I mentioned this palette in there under best memory and I said how I was really unsure about this palette I mean it looks like there's a black and white filter over over it I'm like I don't know if I'm ever gonna reach for this one but it I love that it's so different from all of my other eyeshadow palettes in my collection. This is so cool. I wore this at the American Influencer Awards. It was my first time ever trying this and I was about to go freaking walk carpet with Patrick Starr and Candy Johnson and then freaking Kim Kardashian's there and I'm like, yeah, I just tried this eyeshadow palette for the first time. Thank goodness it's ColourPop and they just have great quality because it worked really well, okay? Like, that was, probably not the smartest thing that I've ever done but it worked out really well and I love the ColourPop eyeshadow formula I'm really really happy with this one again $12 for the nine shades and I believe it was 25% off when I bought it so when I saw ColourPop was having the sale I was like I'm just gonna go for it and if I don't love it whatever no so happy that I bought it no regrets there. And then the final eyeshadow palette that I do not regret buying is this one from Lawless. This is the little one palette. So this is $25 for eight shades. Again, I like smaller eyeshadow palettes. I love neutrals. The, like all of these tones in here scream me. I actually do have the one eyeshadow palette from Lawless Beauty as well. And I actually like that one more, which is shocking to me because a lot of times I gravitate towards the smaller palettes, but I actually like that one just a bit more. But these shades in here, I mean, especially for fall, this is like such a like beautiful fall palette you're going somewhere throw it in your travel bag it's nice and small you still have the mirror on it I really do like the eyeshadow palette formula from Lawless Beauty because it's more of a buildable formula versus being like too pigmented and too hard for me to blend out because I don't have the best skills nor do I have the patience that's what really tops like me not having the most skills is my level of patience this is a really great palette also and again I think I got it during like a Sephora sale or some sort of promo so it was even less than the $25 and I, I love Lawless Beauty. I buy a lot from them. I really do like the brand and I think the little one is a great palette. I have a couple other products from Lawless as well so I will touch on those. One is the lip gloss. Now this is $25 which is pretty pricey for a lip gloss. I got the shade Glazed which is more of like just a really pale pink shimmer. I don't know how, there you go. You can kind of see that on camera, I think. So that is what the gloss looks like and it is beautiful. I really, really like this. It sits out in, uh, I have, that was kind of funny. I have um, like a little bookshelf, ladder bookshelf in my office and then I have a little acrylic and that's where I keep my most used lip products, like the lipstick I'm wearing today, which is a story from Oh, friend Samantha March, thank you so much. Uh, but I keep my most used lip products there and I keep the gloss out from Lawless Beauty. It's really lightweight, but it doesn't feel, it's not sticky, it doesn't get too goopy on my lips. It just adds this really pretty shine to them. And I can wear it alone, I can wear it with lip liner, I can wear it with lipstick, and I just think that it's really pretty. I like this formula a lot from Lawless. And the last product that I have from Lawless Beauty, and then one more, we're almost done. These typically tend to be pretty quick videos. <laughs> Yet I somehow find a way to make them long. But this one from Lawless Beauty, this is the bronzer. So I do like this one and I, I really, I don't regret buying it. I didn't want to return it. I haven't decluttered it. I, I Like I still like it. It's just not like a tippy top favorite of mine. I think it's just the shade is not quite perfect for me. I got the lighter one. There are two bronzer shades. So I got the lighter one down here and I just think it's not like a perfect shade match. And I don't also find it to be like the most blendable bronzer that I've ever worn. It's not bad, but it's just like it's just I have to take a little bit of extra time. I like to use more of a fluffy brush when I'm using this one and I feel like that kind of can help blend it out a little bit better onto my face. So again, it's not my absolute like 100% favorite bronzer and it was more pricey. It was $38. Again, I did purchase it with a sale um, so I didn't quite pay that full price but that is pretty expensive for a bronzer so I wish I would have loved it a little bit more but again, I'm not planning to declutter it. Like I said, I really do like the brand. I've bought a lot of the products myself and I'm still going to continue to keep this one around so truly 
I don't regret buying it. So last time I have a set that I purchased from Farsali. The set is no longer available because it came out around holiday time, but um, these, these are sold separately. So this was called the Skin Goals and it was $25 and you got four minis. So I still have three of the minis and then I did have a full size of one of the products that it came with. So I actually put the mini into a giveaway so you know someone else could could try it out um, but it came with the rose gold elixir that is what I already had purchased from Forsali also the skin tune blur the unicorn essence and then the volcanic elixir now I don't regret buying this because it gave it was a great way for me to try out these three other serums that I haven't and Forsali products are pretty expensive most of the full sizes run for around $50 there are some minis offered of the serums and just some of like the Farsali products in general, but not all of them have that option. So I thought it was fun to be able to try them all out. I will say I do like the rose gold one. I mean, I purchased this a few years ago back when like Farsali was really getting so much hype on Instagram of everyone like dropping the products on their face. And I was like, I'm going to drop the products on my face too. Mm, mm. I do like it. I especially gravitate towards this in the winter when my skin is a little bit more dry because it is very hydrating and I appreciate that. Out of these other three, I think I really did like the Skin Tune Blur. It really does what it says it's going to do. It helps blur everything out and just makes your face look like you've used Facetune, I mean, quite honestly. Uh, so I did really like this one, but also the Volcanic Elixir. Now this is actually a night serum. So um, you apply a few drops at night. It does have a pretty strong kind of like earthy scent to it, but it's supposed to help with redness and just other skincare issues. And I, I really did notice a difference when I would use this at night. I actually started to put it into my travel bag because, you know, obviously it's just a little mini. So I'd put it into my travel skincare bag and it just, I, I just felt after I used this, when I woke up in the morning, my skin wasn't as red and as inflamed. I do deal with a lot of acne struggles. I have a lot of redness on my chin and like the lower part of my face. And I feel like when I use this one, I can just tell a difference and I feel a little bit better in the morning, especially if I am traveling or I was staying at a friend's house, you know, it's circa 2019, obviously. I really liked that for it. So I still, I had to go back into my travel bag to find this one, even though I obviously haven't been anywhere in forever. And then I did like the unicorn essence this one didn't really like I don't know it didn't it didn't stick out to me as much as the skin tune skin tune of blur did but I still like that I have this now these are pretty small but I still have some product in each even though I've used all of them several times honestly the volcanic elixir is probably what I've used the most and I still have some product in here so I definitely don't feel like $25 was a bad price to try out technically just these three minis since I had the one. I didn't think that was bad. I don't know if I'm really going to want to repurchase a full size of anything because I just, I feel like I don't reach for these. I want to use the term like naturally, like maybe if I'm filming or I'm doing something for Instagram, I'm like, yeah, I could pull these out because it's fun. But if I'm just like doing my makeup in my office for myself, a lot of times I don't find myself really reaching for these too often. So I don't know if I would really want to spend um, the price of a full size. I did also purchase the Farsali uh, skin skin glass glass skin serum and I really do like that one so that's kind of what I've been using the most if I was going to buy even like a mini it would probably be the skin tune blur I would say I think that was my favorite one but have you guys tried these Afarsali serums and what did you think but again at $25 I don't regret buying those. Uh, but after that, that is going to wrap it up for this week's regrets video. I hope that you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to come back next week. I will have another regrets video for you. You can check out the playlist down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I don't know, hit the bell and do all that stuff if you want to get notified for the regrets video or just remember that I post these on Sunday. You do you, boo. Other than that, though, I would love if you gave this one a thumbs up. And if you wanted to comment, that always has help with engagement. I know myself and all other creators really do appreciate that. Make sure to subscribe before you go. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.